guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are doing really, really well. Today, I'm coming at you with a very interesting video that is how I edit my Instagram pictures. Now, I love Instagram as a platform. I love, love, love Instagram as a like a social media platform. It's my favorite platform. And uh, I had my previous account, I deleted that. I created a new one and I love the aesthetic, the vibe of my Instagram. I'm quite passionate about it, as you can see, but Having said that, I don't take Instagram too seriously and I tried to follow a theme on my Instagram but I just couldn't because I realized you will, you can never have like a perfect looking feed. So there is just few tips and tricks that I'd like to do to make my uh, feed look cohesive. That is number one, I edit all of my pictures in the exact same manner. That is, we'll share uh, what all apps I use, how I edit my pictures in a second. But I like to edit all of my pictures in the exact same manner. So subka brightness level and contrast level like shadows, sub ki almost same rehti hai. Toh se kya hota hai ki even if there are different outfits or different backgrounds, overall the vibe of the profile kind of looks same. That is number one. Number two, I like to space out my pictures in uh, like a two, three ways. That is, if I'm doing like a full length body picture, then I like to do like a super close up in my next picture or like an Fill a picture, fill a picture is basically let's say a coffee mug or my shoe or like the sky to fill a picture and then I like to do like a close up or like a very uh, or like a wide angle shot. So when you create complete different uh, contrast in pictures that is a full length a gaya, fill a close up a gaya, a extremely wide shot a gaya, and then uske baad maybe a sky ka a gaya, and then a full length a gaya. When you space out pictures like that, to overall it just creates a very cohesive, interesting looking Instagram. That is what I try to do most of the times. But yeah, these are the two main things that I like to do when it comes to like my Instagram. Ye to tha Instagram ke now let's talk about who takes my pictures, how I take my pictures. So jo bhi mere saath hota hai, be it my friend, my brother, my mom, jo bhi hai. They take my pictures, I just guide them through and they take like a bazillion pictures and one picture usually achiya jati hai. Secondly, I take all of my pictures on my phone. This is the iPhone 11 and it's very good pictures, hai, wide angle, bhi achiya jati hai, selfies, bhi achiya jati hai. iPhone is known for like their good camera quality. So I take all my pictures on phone. Pe hi leti hu. Okay, uh, this is photo I take photo and when I take because that is also very important and what way I take it. Okay, I take most of my pictures live format. Mein. That is, when you take a photo, it will record one or second before one or second baad bhi record in this photo. Mein. So, what happens is it just gives room to play. Like I edit one picture, I will show you how the live feature is play. Mein aata hai. I love taking pictures live format mein because it just uh, creatively you can do a lot more. And sometimes I just want like a video format of that picture. So if I have it live, then it will become a video bhi ban jati hai isme, which is quite nice. So this is something that I follow. Secondly, I try to take picture in the golden hour. Now everybody is aware of golden hour. Kya hota. Now when it's time to sunset, ho tha, usually after 4 p.m. is like golden hour, 4 to 7 during the summer months. And at that time, the most beautiful pictures come out because uh, it just naturally blurs everything out and makes everything look golden and pretty. I try to take it pictures in golden hour, but sometimes it doesn't happen, so I take it too. I'm not too fussy about it. But ideally, if you are out, I would say try to take pictures during that time because at that time, the most beautiful pictures come out. Okay, now let's move on to all of the apps that I use. As you can see, I have a lot of apps. A lot of apps. But I don't use all of them. I'm like, ah, this is other than I've only downloaded one or two. I've not opened But they're just there. I like four apps majorly that I use. Unfold. Unfold for my Instagram, uh, what is it called? Stories. If you want that aesthetic vibe. I'm not using that that much abhi. But I like if Unfold. Then there is Prequel, which just adds a bit of fun drama to pictures. I use this a lot in the beginning of the lockdown. Now I don't use it that much. But it's a beautiful app for your pictures and videos. Then I love, 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 love Lightroom and Huji. This is like these are my favorite apps. Hai. Let me just give you some examples of how I edit my pictures. So what we're going to do is we will do like one full length outfit shot and one close up. And then you can get an idea because I edit all of my pictures in the same way. 
so I have my phone here with me and we will just start by editing like two or three pictures so first picture that I want to show you is this picture over here if you don't want to use any tools photos mein jaake, you can just change the way a picture looks so I just like to go edit ke option mein. and then you can auto enhance a picture I don't really like that so I'm not going to do that but I'm going to go to the crop option I'm just going to vertically change the picture a bit and I think so that looks pretty damn cute and I'm going to save it so the reason why I do it is if the photo has just been taken like this so I just like ki the photo thodi aise lage agar agar photo aise li hoti ki bent down karke le rahe hai then I would not do that but if the photo has been taken from like an eye level then I just like to slightly like main isko thoda sa um, thoda sa elongate kar leti if that makes any sense iske baad we will move on to the editing wala apps now I just use one app which is Lightroom app over here so Lightroom is basically, I think so it's a free app. So I'm going to import this picture over here. As you can see, a uh, photo import ho gaya. Now what I like to do Lightroom app mein is uh, sometimes I'll go to the crop option and I will flip it because kai bari flip karke, uh, it just changes the way a picture looks. So I will flip it and see, but I think so it looks nice like that. So I'm not going to flip it in this scenario. Then I like to go to this option, which is light. And is mein I like to take the brightness completely down you can definitely increase it if you like more of a grungy vibe then you can definitely increase it but i like to take it all down to like 100 in all of my pictures my uh, like blackness i have reduced it down to almost 100 i i don't like my pictures to be harsh i just like it to be very light and vibrant and white kaibari i take it all the way up we will see that shadows may i will decrease the shadow maybe increase decrease the shadow highlight thoda sa Decrease karungi, take the contrast up a bit. Just play around at this point. After I've selected my light and everything, I like to go to this color option. Color option may mix ka ye option may you can see all of these colors. Now ye kya karte hai? Want the redness in your picture to pop? You can definitely bring up the redness. I don't like to do it. I just like to make subtle changes, just a yellow. If I want to take down the yellow, I can definitely do that. But I like this warmth. Green, if you don't want this green, so you can definitely take down the green. Pink. Then this is orange. So if you want to look more tan and something, I think so this orange, you can definitely increase it and done. And there you have it. I just do this much of editing. So the picture looks absolutely pretty. I'm not a huge fan of completely maneuvering the pictures I just like to like take down the shadow or take up the shadow and just play with like the brightness and contrast that sort of a thing I will just put a little before and after on the screen and you can see there is just this slight difference in the picture but like obviously the edited version looks much better in my eyes this is how I mainly edit all of my pictures like literally all of the pictures I will just show you one app that you can use for Instagram stories. I don't use that that often now, but sometimes I like to do it. So this is a free app. You can definitely upgrade it, but basic features is mil jate hai. So you can basically add like your pictures in here. Like I will add these pictures that I uh, took when I went out with my friends. And then you can basically save it. So it's just a very simple uh, looking app, but it gives you this frame and you can use for your stories. Then moving on to the next, then moving on to the next app, which is Prequel app. I use this app a lot during the lockdown phase. Okay, so just let me share with you how this picture will look over here. So I, I like this filter, which is called story over here. It's with two versions, hai, three versions actually, but the third one looks hideous. The second one looks nice. Is me you can go edit it. You can change out the caption, so you can just write like "Happy Birthday." You can uh, position it wherever you want. So maybe somewhere over here. You can add dust or remove it completely. I'm just gonna add it a bit. Filter. You can see that you need filter. Chahiye. Maybe a bit. And yeah, that's about it. I actually use this filter on like few pictures of mine. I'm just gonna put that on screen. This was just want some really quirky, creative filters and stuff. You can definitely check out this app. There is this app called Huji. Now this basically is like, it gives you this Polaroid effect picture. Let me just take a picture right now. It's developing, hold on. 
and lap pe jaake you can see it and this is how the picture looks like i've taken few pictures over here and this is how the picture looks i think so it's a beautiful beautiful app like if you like that vintage effect you would really like this app i'm going to share with you all this picture that i took on um uh, lori and this is how the original picture was looking I like to take my black to like 100 plus 100 and white i like to bring it down to minus 100 and then you can play with shadows how light you want your picture to be i like that light effect highlights maybe you can just go all the way down but i'm just going to keep it like till 12 contrast maybe you can bring it down bring it up I'm actually quite happy with it. I would go in with color and maybe bring the red up a little bit. The pink up also a bit. Bring down the yellow. This is how the picture looks. As you can see, my acne over here is visible. Yahan pe visible hai and if you go through my Instagram, you would see the exact same picture. I like how the brightness and everything has changed, but it has not compromised on like my skin texture. or my makeup i really like that part. i'm zooming in so that you can see how each and every of my <laughs> brow hair is visible my acne on my forehead is visible on yahan pe eyebrow ke end pe is visible cheek pe is visible my pores you can completely see everything is visible and this is how exactly i like to present my brand because it's all about being real i think it's refreshing to see somebody on social media who is just not so perfect because like come on let's be real we see all of the people on instagram with completely blurred out skin and everything is just so perfect and you're like after looking at them you're just like damn i can never reach that level so i'm just going to save it and yeah that is how i edit my pictures most of my pictures now i will show you why you should never trust social media when it comes to pictures so like this picture that i posted over on my instagram i'm going to retouch it with you all and then you can just be like damn so i'm just going to use the blur function to blur out almost everything on my face and make me look like a mannequin basically blurred out and real skin blurred out and real skin and i just think so ki there is nothing wrong if you want to do it i did it for a very long time but i think so it has a very negative impact on how you will see yourself because like i'm looking at this picture right now and i am like i don't like my skin with texture it's not looking good but this looks pretty damn good but we have to keep reminding ourselves i know it's very tempting it's so tempting to just put out a picture which makes you look absolutely flawless and like a doll but at the same time you need to remind yourself that this is what humans look like and it's absolutely okay to look like this right and you're still beautiful like despite of looking like this like with the pores and everything I think so you need to still celebrate yourself you still need to be proud of who you are and of your skin and of your body I don't want to sit here and be like guys use this app to just blur out everything to contour your body and all of that because I know people do a lot of these things and I don't want to promote that I don't stand for it I honestly have tried using all of these apps and at the end of the day once you get into the habit of retouching your skin blurring out everything you will not like yourself in real life you will like yourself on instagram first of all it is a uh, like fake representation of yourself secondly kya hota hai ki you will feel good at that part of time but in the long run you will like or may even love yourself on instagram but in real life you would not be comfortable of who you are because kya hota hai ki jab aap constantly apne aap ko itna smooth kar rahe ho har picture pe you just don't want any imperfection to be there in a picture you so your mind is so consumed with that photo looking perfect that you forget ki that is not how you look like number one and secondly nobody looks like that and the fact that you want to look like that there is some problem over here i honestly used to do that in the past and from my personal experience i just hated the way i looked in real life and then i realized dude if you want to look good you need to take care of your skin in real life 
And when I started on this journey of loving my body, loving my skin, and now I think so I've reached a stage where I'm absolutely okay if uh, like I'm there on camera with bare skin. You guys have seen me in my vlogs with no makeup on, and I'm so comfortable in that. You guys have seen me in every body shape <laughs> and I'm just like I've reached a stage where these things don't bother me and I know over on Instagram it can be really really difficult where you're just seeing perfect looking girls all the time but I just want you guys to take away one thing from this video that Instagram does not define anybody. Instagram may sub up the best version lagte hai. and on top of that if you apply filters, makeup, all of that thing it just the outcome is always nice right so even for me like i just have bad skin days i just have bad body days and bad uh, mental health days just like all of us so this video has gone on a completely different tangent but you guys know i just love to talk about i'm very passionate about talking about these things because i went through an entire phase of just hating my body hating my skin and then i just relied on filters and uh, apps to make me look pretty and that is just a very wrong mindset to have. So that was my pep talk in this video. This was not meant to go this way, this video. This video was strictly like, I'm just going to be professional and talk to you how I edit my pictures. I did that, but there's not a lot that I do. But I know a lot of you were interested on like how I edit my pictures and everything. So I hope it helps. I hope that you all can take something away from this video. The only thing that I would suggest you to take away from this video is that don't take Instagram too seriously. People just like to, like even me, I just like to portray the best version of myself. We take 20 pictures and select one picture. That's what I do, right? And then on top of that, you add filters and makeup and um, sab cheese, and then you put out a picture. So I would say don't take Instagram too seriously. Just have fun with it. It's just uh, like social media is there to have fun. And I think so on that note, I'm going to go for now. I love you all so, so much. Thank you all for all the love and support that you guys have given me recently. I will see you all very, very soon. Till then, please take care of yourself. Bye.